Obadiah This is the vision that the Sovereign Lord revealed to Obadiah concerning the land of Edom. We have heard a message from the Lord that an ambassador was sent to the nations to say, Get ready, everyone. Let's assemble our armies and attack Edom. The Lord says, I will cut you down to size among the nations, Edom. You will be small and despised. You are proud because you live in a rock fortress and make your home high in the mountains. Who can ever reach us way up here? You ask boastfully. Don't fool yourselves. Though you soar as high as eagles and build your nest among the stars, I will bring you crashing down. I, the Lord, have spoken. If thieves came at night and robbed you, they would not take everything. Those who harvest grapes always leave a few for the poor. But your enemies will wipe you out completely. Every nook and cranny of Edom will be searched and looted. Every treasure will be found and taken. All your allies will turn against you. They will help to chase you from your land. They will promise you peace while plotting your destruction. Your trusted friends will set traps for you, and you won't even know about it. At that time, not a single wise person will be left in the whole land of Edom, says the Lord. For on the mountains of Edom I will destroy everyone who has wisdom and understanding. The mightiest warriors of Timon will be terrified, and everyone on the mountains of Edom will be cut down in the slaughter. And why? Because of the violence you did to your close relatives in Israel. Now you will be destroyed completely and filled with shame forever. For you deserted your relatives in Israel during their time of greatest need. You stood aloof, refusing to lift a finger to help when foreign invaders carried off their wealth and cast lots to divide up Jerusalem. You acted as though you were one of Israel's enemies. You shouldn't have done this. You shouldn't have gloated when they exiled your relatives to distant lands. You shouldn't have rejoiced because they were suffering such misfortune. You shouldn't have crowed over them as they suffered these disasters. You shouldn't have plundered the land of Israel when they were suffering such calamity. You shouldn't have gloated over the destruction of your relatives, looting their homes and making yourselves rich at their expense. You shouldn't have stood at the crossroads, killing those who tried to escape. You shouldn't have captured the survivors, handing them over to their enemies in that terrible time of trouble. The day is near when I, the Lord, will judge the godless nations. As you have done to Israel, so it will be done to you. All your evil deeds will fall back on your own heads. Just as you swallowed up my people on my holy mountain, so you and the surrounding nations will swallow the punishment I pour out on you. Yes, you nations will drink and stagger and disappear from history as though you had never even existed. But Jerusalem will become a refuge for those who escape. It will be a holy place. And the people of Israel will come back to reclaim their inheritance. At that time, Israel will be a raging fire, and Edom a field of dry stubble. The fire will roar across the field, devouring everything and leaving no survivors in Edom. I, the Lord, have spoken. Then my people living in the Negev will occupy the mountains of Edom. Those living in the foothills of Judah will possess the Philistine plains and take over the fields of Ephraim and Samaria. And the people of Benjamin will occupy the land of Gilead. The exiles of Israel will return to their land and occupy the Phoenician coast as far north as Zerephath. The captives from Jerusalem exiled in the north will return to their homeland and resettle the villages of the Negev. Deliverers will go up to Mount Zion in Jerusalem to rule over the mountains of Edom and the Lord himself will be king.